Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Very quickly, when I say live, what I mean is I'm recording myself right now in real time, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time. So if you are looking for a video where somebody's talking to you with hindsight in their favor or they're doing some sort of trade recap, this will not be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, nitty gritty raw look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, then I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will go ahead and pause for now and I will be back at the opening bell. All right, I'm watching 2.99 here for a potential short, but that would require Tesla to come back down, which as of right now, does not seem like it's going to be the case. Yeah, and at this point I can't take 299 either because the risk profile is pretty much distorted now after this candle here is formed. So I'll have to wait for some sort of new setup to take place. So, Nvidia, yeah, 29, yeah. And it just keeps on moving upwards here, so. If you hear typing the awkward pause, that's because I was making an alert to the my private community. So if you're not familiar, I do have a private trading community at claytrader.com. So 30, 350 could be an interesting level here. So yeah, 350, I like it. If it wants to come into play though. Because I'm not sure I believe this move, but I'm also not just gonna step in front of it either. So 350 watching for a short, for you beginners, that means making money if prices go down. Which I know is a bizarre concept the first time you hear it, but you can make money when prices go down. That means you lose money though if prices go up. So 350. Heck, let me get this alerted. Tesla, 350 flush point, one minute. Oh, okay, well, once again, one. Yeah, I'll go 301 now at this point. That could still be interesting. So, all right, I will go ahead and pause the recording software and still watching Tesla, but still just continuing to grind higher and higher, which is why earlier I mentioned I don't wanna just step in front of it because it has proven to be quite the strong move. In fact, going for the potential gap close now. Three hundred two fifty though is an interesting level. Yeah, let's get short here. All right, well, I got filled 28 shares. So, um, that's uh, extremely annoying. But then again, maybe, maybe that'll turn out to be a good thing. I should be hopping out here just because it's, I mean, it's 28 shares, but I mean, I'm in. All right, so yeah, it turned out to be a bad thing because there was a 25 cent move. I'd still been holding if I had more, but um, if anything, I, I guess subconsciously, I was probably trying to be like, well, I don't want to lose money you know, on commissions, not that commissions were a lot. So there we go, $7 trade. Yeah, that's, yeah, like I said, I would have still been holding had I had bigger size. So this move back up is a little spooky right now. Okay, well, there's a, uh, I, I mean, essentially a no trade, but sometimes uh, you'll just get those partial fills. So for you beginners out there, if you ever heard the term, a partial fill uh, right there, you can see on my screen, uh, where'd my screen marker go? But I wanted to get, let me just show you real quick. So I wanted to get 325, but I only got 28. So 28 out of 325 is what that's uh, showing right there. Um, You know, I thought the markets would be a bit weaker this morning and they did start off weak. Oh my, wow. 
Um, what? Look at that chart. Just... <laughs> Yeah, such a little volume too. All right, I will go ahead and pause the softer. But yeah, oh, as I was saying, everything, there's a bunch of gap down. So I was thinking, okay, might get some good setups. Uh, NVIDIA, another good example. Gap down, so open up here, and then look at that, just whoosh, all up and went. You saw that happen with Tesla, um, pretty much all across the board, bunch of gap downs. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually quite grateful that uh, I'm up a little bit of money because uh, the market was kind, because it never really gave any setups and then went up, it just basically went straight up. Sometimes, you know, the market acts like it's gonna be weak, gives you a, a nice little setup, and then you take the setup, and then it's like, no, we're actually gonna be strong. But in this situation, it was just basically, nope, we're gonna be strong. So I'll try to look at the bright side, but yeah, what was going from uh, my mindset in one way to something that is just not translated at all to and it's just not too choppy there, not enough volume. Okay, well, the good news is market's not even open 10 minutes, so let's see what else I can find. And Tesla just keeps grinding. So in all actuality, that partial fill was uh, the market being very polite to me. Because as I had mentioned, I would have still been holding with that downwards move. Um, and I just hopped out because, again, I, I only had 28 shares. But that would have turned out to be a losing trade as it came down and then just continued on up. So what's going on here with coin? That's an interesting setup. Yeah. 71.25. I like that. I'm going to get that alerted. 1.25 plus point one minute. All right. I'm going to keep an eye on that and, uh, We'll see what happens with it, but I'll go ahead and pause the software. I'm actually gonna go and move my order up to 7150. Bit of a risk, because I'm not gonna have as much confirmation as what I would like. However, it would also allow me to keep my monetary risk relatively in check. So yeah, I'm gonna watch 7150, try to anticipate a breakdown. I'll go ahead and pause. This is actually a nice move there. Cause now I would love to see it come back down to 7150, maybe some sort of fake breakout move. Again, still watching 7150. Coming down in at 71.50. So let's see if this thing can pick up some downside pressure now. Well, the markets were looking like they were gonna come down. But now not so much. Give this thing a bit more space. Yeah, this all seems to be based on what does the markets want to do here? Let's see if the markets want to come back down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll keep you updated. All right, has come back down close to 7150. 
but it's really just a question of does it want to get any kind of follow through. Being very, very stubborn. Okay, there's a bit of follow through. We'd love to see 71, but can it get down through VWAP? So pull it off 150 down here. Just It could still very well be a losing trade. It just won't be as big of a losing trade because I've locked in some gains and I've reduced position size. Because right now, not quite sure if it's going to want to bounce at VWAP or not. Let's see what it wants to do. It got down to 71 and again is just bouncing right around this area, but let's see. Okay, there's the break. So it took off 150 shares more. Still have 200 shares left. So not totally sure the math I can do in my head, but I suppose it could still potentially be a losing trade, but it would be a very, very, very minimal losing trade at this point. But well, wanna see if this thing can come down here with the market. Took off another 50 shares. As this move is getting a bit overextended. This is the fourth candle, red candle in a row now. Okay, and as it bounces, I'm just gonna call that good. So $200 on that trade. So I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Let me hop over here to FDX. Oh, interesting, 163.75. Flashpoint. All right, I will go ahead and pause. And just a quick update on coin, just uh, the market as a whole. And if anything, I, I need to learn from that to just, I gotta keep on scalping because uh, had I not been as aggressive, you know, this this is now at risk of potentially turning to just a full blown losing trade. It came down, now you can see just how far back. Now it's not necessarily, I can't call it a lose. It would have been losing trade, but yeah, if it goes back up over seventy two at that point, I mean that, that's a that's a very big turnaround, and one just illustrates how uh, this market is just very tricky. I'm just watching Tesla here. Potentially interested setup here where I could get a nice little risk profile, but would like to see this thing push up a bit more. I don't know if it's gonna do that. Okay, I will pause the software. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get short here at 305.06, and this is very straightforward. This thing's either gonna roll back over or it's gonna come up and stop me out uh, as it puts in new highs, but it's just a question of, uh, do I think this thing is at, you know, done going up for a while? I think so, which is why I got short, but if it's not, will put me red, but nothing that will destroy me. Yes, I'll give back my gains, but it's not like I'm up $2,000 right now. I'm up $219, so, um, you know, like I said, it's not like, I'm risking anything. Now, if I was up $2,000 and I'm sitting there saying, yeah, you know, if I'm wrong here, I'm gonna be red. You know, that's, that's giving up quite a bit of gains, but again here, that is not 
uh, you know, the risk here. So starting to come down a little bit, but I, I need more follow through. So I'll go ahead and pause the software for now and I will keep you updated. All right, coming down to 304, let's see if we can get it. And all out there for, for the trade. What were you saying, buddy? No, that was a chipmunk. A chipmunk? Why did we not eat it? Yeah, because it was only like two ounces of meat. Uh. Okay. All right, I'm working on a video, buddy. Okay, but Daddy, can we stop squirrels? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. It's, I don't know if it would be worth it, but you can try. Okay. Well, first, let's just get one, then we'll worry about that stuff, okay? Yeah. Okay, I gotta finish up this video. Can you close the door, please? Daddy, Dad? Yeah. No, I don't know if that would work. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll come out in a little bit. Okay. Close the door, thanks. Okay, I thought you mean the outside door. No, that door right there. Thanks. Oh, I'm still recording. All right. Um, well, I guess you just got a little conversation with my son trip. Um, but I thought I hit the pause button because he was in here right when I hit my price target of 304. Actually got three cents more. Uh, so yeah, excellent uh, for what was being risked. Like I said, I needed uh, to be a little patient there. When did I get in? I got in at uh, 9.54. Yeah, so had to sit in it for about six-ish minutes or so, uh, but eventually got out and allowed me to, to hit my goal. And that was a very actually straightforward trade plan. It was either, you know, are we at the top, the temporary top? Not that this is gonna, I, I needed it to be the top for the entire day, but um, enough of a top for there to be pulled back. And yeah, it, it was, it pulled back and worked out just fine. In fact, in hindsight, I could have gotten more from it, but I mean, come on, that's hindsight. We're all, we're all great traders in that regard. So uh, now up, let's see, got out of that at, oh, 10.42. So 42 seconds above average. And I say that because I like to do the be done in 30 approach, which on average being done after right around 30 minutes per day. So it was 42 seconds above average here, uh, but that's all right. But also $500 or 573 on the day. And as I always say, $500 a day keeps the day job away. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. And for those of you that are new to the channel, you're asking a rational question, Clay, why would you be done after only 30 minutes? You can go and make so much money. And you're absolutely right. But for my personal, uh, you know, at this point in my life journey, if you will, as a father of five young kids, I do this for the freedom of time. I wanna be able to go and do with whatever I want. Now, if you're in trading because you want a private jet, then I hope you get that goal. For me, I just want the freedom of time. So if I can put 500, after commissions, let's call it 560 bucks in my pocket after 30 minutes on average, I mean, I'll take that all day long. So am I gonna be able to buy a private jet? No, but that's just not where I'm at in my life. Again, if you wanna do that, then I, I hope you get it. Maybe give me a ride sometime. But um, so that's all I have. So $500 a day keeps that day job away. A nice showing for, um, for 30 minutes of work and I'm more than happy with it. So if you enjoy these live trade videos, uh, please help me out because they're very difficult to make because they are genuinely live. So as stuff's going on, I'm having to think through it. I'm having to talk to you. I'm having to make alerts. So it is very difficult. I don't say it for pity. I just show it or say that to give context that I really do appreciate your feedback and your feedback is as simple as hitting that like button and leaving a, a, a comment below. So um, tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. Uh, I don't tell me your favorite color. I don't know, but a comment, hit the like button, helps the algorithm, helps the channel and just, uh, you know, lets me know that I, I should keep you know using my time to make these videos. So everybody take care, have a good one. Again, hit that like button and leave a simple comment down below. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. 
click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.